Hey everybody, DC from the Death Rock magazine here. Hyperdontia in the background from the Kill Town Death Fest. And my dog, Baxter, the Death Rock dog, is right there. Earache Records has had a uh, three LP for, I think, around 25 bucks. It's a European pound, so it might be a little bit more. Uh, shipping was a little more, but I think this is worth it. The deal was uh, three LPs for $25, I think, and uh, they're damaged covers, but um, let's hope that we have uh, some classic earache releases, which is what I'm looking for. I put it down when uh, it was additional comments. I said, classic earache, please. Please, 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 please. So let's see, this is my first unboxing. All right, we got the trusty knife here. My first ever unboxing, and we're gonna check this out. So let's see what we have here. Okay, first one out of here, SSS, the dividing line. Never heard of them, but this is an earache release. They look punk, hardcore maybe. The one we have to listen to. Okay, next one. What do we have here? The Temperance Movement. Sort of a pinkish salmon cover. This is called the Pride EP. So maybe it is pink. I'm colorblind, so I have amount of color distortion so if it is not pink and it is salmon then tell me next up last one rival sons no classic ear eps or no classic lps but this one here is a double gatefold right there see this rival sons they're a rock band I know Earache went heavy on them, and right now they're signing bands like Buck Cherry. So I think that they're going more in uh, the rock, the rock era. This isn't bad packaging. I do kind of like this. That's pretty neat. It has a little like brush burn on the top of it, but that's not a big deal. Ooh. This happens to be it's cranberry-ish to me. To me. So who knows what color it is to you. So, I did get another album that I'm gonna go get and open up once I put this stuff back. I think it's probably the same color. It's probably the universal color. Yeah, pink for uh, cranberry. All right, well, thank you very much, Earache Records. It wasn't any grindcore or death metal as far as I know, but I'm happy to have those because I have a new record collection. I had a record collection many years ago, but I decided that, you know, I wasn't listening to any records and I didn't have a record player. But this uh, Valentine's Day, my fiance picked me up a brand new turntable, Bluetooth, and uh, regular RC jacks as well. So, it was worth it to start uh, picking up some more albums. And uh, hold on, I'll get you the one I picked up this weekend. I forgot it was actually two albums. This one is False Front, punk band from New Hope, PA. Uh, this is on Shimmy Disc. It's where Guar first came out, and Ween, and King Missile, and bands like that. We always had this logo without any listing on it, and then the reverse on the other side. That one is called Criminal Mind by the band False Front. Check them out. I remember seeing them with Ween in about 1992 in Asbury Park, New Jersey at uh, Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds Cafe in Asbury Park, which was actually a really, really cool little place to see bands like that, and I like them too. Uh, this other one is one of my favorites now. Metallica has a new album out. Yes, it's going to be a Metallica album. And uh, they, when I was younger, they were, they were big, and I was into them. But I tell you what, uh, as the years progressed, I started to not really care too much for them. But this one happens to be my favorite, and I will always listen to it. it happens to be uh, 
not their material. It is the 598 EP. I have this on every format, uh, except 8-track. If they ever made an 8-track, I don't know. But I have, now I have this on vinyl. I have it on CD, vinyl, cassette. And anytime I see this sort of format, I'm going to pick it up, as long as it's not this new one. And this cost me 20 bucks, and it's a repress, but this is one of my favorite Metallica uh, releases of all time. Master Puppets is good. Kill 'em All is good. Yeah. It's not this one, though. It's absolutely amazing. Really happy with that one. So, one of these days I'm going to go through my small collection that I have right now, and you'll see these guys again. But... I'm just starting with this uh, record collection again. This is the second time as a record collector. I'm more of a CD collector, more of a CD guy. So, I hope everybody had a good time watching my unboxing. Um, I think it's worth it. You should give it a go. Maybe I'll do it again because uh, it seem to be worth it as long as they don't, you know, double up on them. I'm sure they're all right. That SSS looks pretty good. I don't know much about the other two except Rival Sons is Rock. Uh, the Temperance Movement, I'm not sure of. I'm going to actually Google that and listen to it um, after we're done here. But thanks for watching. I'm DC. This is Death Rock. Hopefully we'll do some more videos kind of like this. All right.